My name is David Carrier. I'm an attorney admitted to practice in the state of Michigan and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I'm from Cape Cod originally, and I want to tell you I grew up in a big family. There are eight kids. I'm number two, first boy. Okay? Uh, one of the things that we knew right from the very start, all of the kids in my family, everybody knew it because mom and dad were very clear about this, was that we were all going to go to college, and we are each going to figure out how to do that on our own. My dad was a school teacher. He had a second job. He worked for 16 years, 16 hours a day. That's what dad did. I'm seven years old, first paper route. I was actually a helper on another kid's paper route. I didn't get my own until I was nine years old. But I kept that paper route for several years and it started my path to where I am today. Uh, growing up on Cape Cod, the kind of jobs that were available to us were more like dishwasher, bartender, waiter, I've done all of it. I've worked in an auto body shop and I've fished for crabs. Uh, <laughs> you name it, I've probably, uh, I've probably done it. I went to the University of Notre Dame. Uh, first year I managed to pay for it with my dishwashing money, uh, the savings that I had. The next three years, very fortunate, I received a United States Army ROTC, Reserve Officer Training Corps scholarship. Without that, I could not have gone to Notre Dame. But that wasn't enough. I delivered pizzas on the weekends. I worked. I attended bar again uh, as I was going through. So I put myself through. Uh, but still, there's no way I could have done any of it uh, without you supporting me through the, uh, through the Army scholarship. Uh, when I went to law school, the Army gave me time off. They said, fine, go to law school on your own. Fine, good enough. So I went to Boston University School of Law. Boston University, again, uh, there's no help for the family. The kids are getting older now. Other kids have needs. That's fine. That was part of the deal. I lived in a literal slum. <laughs> it was an officially designated blighted area in Boston. Uh, it's pretty fancy now, but back then not so much. And I put myself through that. Again, working nights, working weekends. That's what I did. I was a security guard. I took the graveyard shift. 11 o'clock at night, 7 o'clock in the morning, guarding buildings around Boston. 9 o'clock, I'm in class. That's just where I come from. When I graduated from law school, I clerked for a judge here in Michigan for a year and then went on to the military. I went into the United States Army. I was commissioned as a, I had been commissioned before, but now I went on active duty uh, as a first lieutenant in the Judge Advocate General's Court. Very fortunate to be posted to Washington, D.C. And then eventually uh, got a job on the Army General Staff as a captain uh, with the, in the office of the Judge Advocate General. While I was doing that, again, thank you American taxpayers, because I got my Master of Laws degree. I got a second law degree from Georgetown University in federal taxation. Then I came back to Grand Rapids. Came to Grand Rapids actually for the first time. I was so fortunate that one of the firms in Grand Rapids was recruiting uh, at Georgetown. I had never been to West Michigan before. That was 1988. I haven't looked back. Built a family here, built a practice here, and this is where my roots are now. I'm very familiar with the kind of folks who come to our workshop, the kind of people that I work with, because like you, I know what it's like to work. I know what it's like to do the things that are necessary to build a family, to build security. We're not looking to other people to take care of us. We've been paying our whole lives. We know what that's like. That's the families I serve. I don't take every case. I don't serve every family. But the ones who work, the ones who've paid, the ones who lived their values, the law offices of David Carrier is your legal home, is the place for you to be. You're going to meet people. At, if you come to our events, and we do all kinds of stuff, from the holiday pops to classic car drivings, you name it, we're doing all kinds of stuff to bring folks in. The people you meet, the friendships that have been started at some of our family events, where we bring our families in, you know, lifelong, you will meet people at our offices just like you because you're the people that we serve. The people who paid it, the people who did it, the people who made promises and kept them. That's the promise I make to you.